What's up, Saints and Aids? Today I am doing my makeup and the focus is going to be around longevity. This weekend is Dene en Blanc. It's basically a secret pop-up picnic that happens here in DC. I have participated for, let's see, we are going on, I think this is my eighth year participating. I was a table leader for seven years and this year I've been promoted to group leader. So I am excited to see what Saturday brings. Last year's Dene en Blanc wasn't that great, so I'm looking for this year to basically be redemption. But enough about that. Let's talk about the makeup. So today I have three events that I'm going to. The first is our site visit where we're going to walk and see the secret site and you know get all of our load in instructions and then from there I'm headed to the Dene en Blanc happy hour and then from there I'm headed to the wine vinyl room at the Thompson Hotel in DC. So my makeup's got to last me basically from the first event at 5 30 all the way till like maybe 11 o'clock at night because y'all know auntie does not stay out that late so since the focus is really on makeup that lasts i'm going to be using for my lids cheeks and lips danessa myrick's color fix along with her new lightwork six palette and of course you know we don't ever do our makeup in silence around here i'm going to be listening to some music now alchemist just dropped a new project the genuine articulate a new song by rome streets called sage by featuring schoolboy q seagull saw glorilla dropped a new single Mona Leo's got a new single, so we're gonna go through all of those while I'm doing my makeup to last. All right, so let's get into it. So I already did my brows off camera because y'all know I have no interest in editing my brows ever in life. So for my eyeshadow, I'm gonna start off with the Juvia's Place Coffee Shop palette, just as a transitional shade on the lid. Use this shade here. Y'all know the shades don't have numbers. What was us? So I'm just gonna use that here in my little transition area. Okay, this schoolboy Q. I'm mad I missed his concert when he was out and about touring. This project is pretty short. I see Seasons Changes on here. That's the song that he put out for Father's Day, the video with his son. I know me, I'll never turn down no Alchemist project. As long as we get the instrumentals too, sir. <laughs> All right, nice little transition in between the lids just so I don't have that stark yellow that we just saw. Now, because I'm wearing a red lip tonight, I'm going to keep the eyeshadow super, super simple. But I still, like I said, need it to last. So I'm going to use Nude 8 over my eye. That's just going to be like a good base. Look who has shorter nails now so I can pat product on my eye like I was wanting to. And just take a little bit of the color fix like so. And just pat it around on the eye. Uh, Danessa's products, I think I've said this before, I think they're very finger friendly. All right, and then I'm going to let the color fix dry. That was my other problem with this, is that I was moving it while it was still very wet. And then just kind of blend that in the crease. Now I just want to put a little topper on top of it. Just a hint of shimmer on the eye. I am using my shiny new Danessa Myricks Lightwork 6 palette. I am in love, love, love with this palette. This is what she looks like. I have moved this all around to suit me in the way that I need it to. I think I'm just going to kind of go with something pretty simple. I ain't gonna go too crazy. I think I'm just gonna use one of these here. I don't know what color this is. This is the shade Release. I think it's perfect for tonight. I'm gonna not do this with my finger and do it on the... I like this. This is uh, so. This is Scientology. This this is Havoc and Alchemist, and it's good to hear them together again. And two of my favorite producers. Quote. I was excited to see the both of them in the studio again. But it looks cute. I don't know if I'm gonna still do a red lip. 
first I'm going to prime my skin with the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder. This is in the shade 9.5. There's Upsolite in it and it sucks up the oil throughout the night. So that is also key to having long wearing makeup because you know the oil is what is going to break your makeup up and this does a good job of stopping it before it even starts. The way I apply my Blurring Balm Powder is I scoop a little bit out here with the scoop and then I put it on the palette. So I can get a nice diffused look all over the face. Let me sure make sure I gather up enough. And this is about how much I put up on my palette. I feel like I can't hear this album as I'm talking to y'all. But so far it sounds good. I'm going to tell you this. I like that track with him and Havoc, the Scientology. It don't sound dated. Because sometimes you know your fades get together. And be sounding just like the last time they got together. So the key areas for me where I need this the most is around my nose, around my mouth, and my forehead. And under the eye. Because that's where my makeup tends to separate them. To color correct, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Wear Even Concealer. And this is in shade 480N. I usually do my eyes and around my mouth. And then I'm gonna let this dry down before I start blending. So that's dry. Let me blend this in with my good concealer brush. And I like to go on the outside just so it's diffused. This is details with him and Larry June. Okay, I feel like off first listen, this is the one. This I always have like a track that I fall in love with off rip. This is the one. Another whip at this point I'm collecting VIN numbers. Amen. So yeah, I like this song. This is this is a good one. And I see it's got a Larry June feature, so this feels very Larry June-ish. So now I'm gonna set this with a pressed powder. Remember the whole purpose is to lock this makeup in. So for my base, I'm using the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Tint, and this is in the shade 14. And in between layers of skin tint, I'm going to use the All Nighter Spray, and that is what's going to lock the skin tint in, hopefully prayerfully. And always shake your makeup up. Just do a little swirl. Well, I'm lying. It's probably more than this. I have a, I use a brush, but I'm pressing this as I'm wiping it in. All right, so we have listened to Alchemist. Let's see what else was new. The album is okay. It has a, I'm gonna have to give it another, you know, while I'm not so deep in makeup. But our first impressions, uh, it's got a couple good songs on there. The features, as always, don't disappoint. And I like the track with him and Havoc and him and Larry June. So I'm going to give it another listen, but our first impression, good job. All right, and this is Sage. This is from Rome Streets, Derringer, and More Schoolboy Q, feature wise. Rome Streets and Derringer got a project coming out, the Hatton Street Hold Up. I think there's a show for it and the movie. Y'all know I've been loving these movies accompanying the rollouts. It's supposed to be over this weekend, so somebody tap in if you went. Tell me how it was. All right, and so now that I have this in, I'm just going to buff using my Sephora Pro Foundation brush. This is the number 70. How get the evils off me, baby? Burn the stage. Now I'm gonna take a puff, spray some all nighter on that, and tap it around my face, and that's gonna lock this layer in. And I'm gonna put another thin layer of skin tint on. Really smooth. I'm going to dry this down and put another layer of skin tint on. And for the blush, I'm going to use the Danessa Myricks 
in the shade Danessa Myers Color Fix in the shade Carrot Top. Just a small amount, about this much right here. And then I just get it all over the brush like so. To highlight or to brighten my under eye, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Wear Even Concealer. And this is in the shade 410W. It's kind of like a, more like a honey. This is not um, three dots concealer day because if you want the makeup to look good and to sit, you have to put the makeup on, baby. I'm going to let this dry down a little bit so it's not moving all over my face. So I think this is all good and dried. Now I'm going to take my Real Techniques. Oh, they don't have a number. This is called the Kitten Paw Brush and it's because it goes really good under the eye. But I'm going to start from the outside again, diffuse the look. Well, I like this brush. This really helps you like get down in the in the places. All right, then to get rid of those lines of demarcation, I just go back in with my foundation brush and just run it. I know some people do it with the powder stuff. I don't like to take that type of chance. All nighter spray to lock that in. Now let's dry. Go under with the Pat McGrath powder, pressed powder, and just press that into. Alright, pressed powder is on. Now I'm going to go under with a setting powder and I'm using Huda Beauty's uh, pow setting powder in cinnamon bun. And I'm actually going to lightly put that on with a brush. Alright, and now that that's on under the eye, I want to do like a brightening type situation under the eye. Alright, and I was going to use one size, but I have time today. I'm going to use uh, Mahuda Beauty, and this is in the shade Sugar Cookie, and then this is just to brighten the under eye. Last of the powder, I'm going to use the Juvia's Place bronzer, and this is in the shade Dark. And if y'all seen me do my blush before, I just go between the two of these and then go around my face. And this is just to warm my face back up. I'm going to start using a uh, pressed foundation next time because Mac, I have one for MAC but it's expired and I have enough problems with my skin that I'm not trying to use no extra extra expired makeup. I'm going to melt all of my powders and bring everything back to skin using the MAC, MAC Fix Plus and our lash extension so I'm going to spray it on this puff. Cap my bottle, baby. And then just. This is probably my favorite part of doing my makeup. Just watching all of this turn and all that powder melt. Alright, so I decided because I really need this to stay. I went and. Listen, the secret weapon. I have the on till dawn. And I'm just going to go back and do another layer of that. Um. Just because I really need this makeup to stay and it's a little hot. Oh, the on till dawn, if you don't feel nothing coming out, spray it upside down. And you'll you'll get some product. Now I feel confident my makeup's not gonna move all night. Ooh, okay. Who try this a little tingly to the face, baby? Lip combo again, getting away from brown liners. This is the NYX lip pencil in the shade current.
I'm gonna use a uh, hot chocolate. Oh, that's perfect, baby. And I'm going to use shade and button in the middle on top. This is it, cause I gotta, I gotta slide y'all, cause I am way late, and I'm going into the city. But y'all know it's not done till we take that hair down. And this is the look, y'all. I feel like it's the look I gave y'all last week and from the same past weeks, but this is it. That's it, Saints and Aids. Thanks for joining me. Love you. Bye. All right, Saints and Aids. I am back. It has been, what was that? It's like 4 o'clock when I did my makeup. It is now midnight. And this is how my base held up. So this is like applying no powder, no touch-ups whatsoever. It does look a little cakey. I do see where some of my like lips, this is why I was eating wings. Some of my lipstick did transfer like to my chin. But I mean, otherwise, the makeup, I will say it stayed put. So this is how the makeup looks. Seven hours, no touch-ups. I think I'm going to follow the same steps tomorrow for Danae en Blanc. So that's it, Saints and Love you. Bye.